All right, we're heading back to the sawmill today. Uh, let's get that trailer hooked up and do a safety check on the lights and we'll get out of here. call of the coffee goddess was strong this morning so had to make a little pit stop on the way to the mill Just realized my safety glasses were becoming unsafe. Got a little screw coming out right there. The last thing I would want is that to pop out while I'm working. Because my luck, that would be when a chunk of something flies up towards my eyes. So we'll see, see if we can get this screwed in there. I don't think I have a small enough Phillips head. Just using this uh, tech screwdriver that I use when I'm doing heating and air conditioning to get it in there. There we go. Perfect. Now we can get to work. So the other day I was so tired when we finished up I kind of left the mill a mess. So let's start today with cleaning up the area.
Well, that was just a little too dusty for me, so we're going to cover up. Well, that side looks pretty good. All the bark is gone. So let's move over here, and now we'll tackle the big pile of sawdust. So I didn't mention it in the last video, but the day before I milled on the last video, this whole log deck was covered in about a foot of snow. And I had brought my little side-by-side -side over with the plow in front of it and, and cleared the log deck of snow. But of course, the next day when I came back to mill, it was a huge mud puddle and you saw that how I was stomping through the mud the whole time. So I thought, hmm, maybe this time, when I clean up all that sawdust, I'll throw it out there. Maybe it uh, won't be so bad. Don't know if it was a good idea, but we'll find out. So one of the things I forgot to mention is I am by no means an expert at the wood miser mill. If you're looking for professional information about how to operate the wood miser mills, by all means, go to their website. Uh, this is just how I mill up my logs and maybe you'll get some pointers from what I have to offer. All right, so last time uh, I didn't talk about this, but one of the things that I like to do on a log like this that is thick on one end and pretty narrow at the other end because it was towards the upper part of the tree is I'll measure this side, the thickest side, to get a height so that's 12 inches and now let's go down to the other side and see what the measurement on that end is all right and the measurement off the deck on this side is nine inches so there's three inches difference so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to bring up the table roller on this end of the log an inch and a half so I can split the difference between the far end and this end and it allows me to kind of keep the boards as straight as possible going through the grain of the log. Alright so now I'm at ten and a half inches above the deck so that gives me inch and a half below and an inch and a half on top to the uh, the 12 inches that the thick end is so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my top flat spot and then roll the log over and cut a flat spot on the other side all right since I had ten and a half as my height on the far end and 12 on this end I made my first cut at 10 and a quarter and so now uh, I have a nice flat board on top. I'm going to roll it over and then we'll see what our next cut is. So I got the log rolled over but I still have that rear deck roller up because I was making up the difference in the cut last time. So before I make my next cut uh, I want to put that down so the flat spot is on the bottom of the log is sitting right on the deck of the mill. So I have 10 and a half inches off the deck on this end of the log and nine inches off the deck at that end of the log. So in order to get a nice flat spot on the top, 
I'm going to make my cut at eight and a half inches. Last time I talked about the simple set feature of the wood miser mill and I'm going to go over a little bit about that now. So in the video you saw where I forgot to set uh, the height that the blade ended up with after the last cut. So I'm going to do that again so you can see uh, how I set the blade to find the right height after I've uh, forgotten to do the simple set at the far end. So I'm going to bring the blade of the mill up to the, the log and I'm going to gently bring the blade down until I'm just barely touching the top of the log. And then I kind of get, I kind of scooch it back and forth just a little bit just to kind of see if I'm right on that edge, if I'm pulling sawdust on both sides. And I'm only pulling sawdust kind of on one side, so I'm, I'm real close. So I'm just gonna give it one more little tap down. All right, so that should be pretty good. So let's back it off. Let's back it on, put it back on. That looks pretty good. And the reason it draws a little bit more sawdust on the left side compared to the right side is that uh, when the engine's running, it actually torques the mill just a little bit down into the right of the screen and um, when it does that the blade is actually level to the deck. So now that I have the blade set flat on the top of the log I want to hit the simple set so it remembers that height and that is this button right here. So now I've just told the machine that I want the board at that height. So now I want to set what depth of board I am cutting by using the up and down arrows here. So uh, I need an uh, inch and a half boards. So I'm going to run this down till we get down to that level. And I add an eighth inch for the thickness of the blade on the saw. So I'm actually gonna set the simple set for inch and five eighths. And then when I tap once down on the, the lever, the blade will drop down an inch and a five eighths to give me that inch and a half board. Just like that. All right, let's cut it. So hopefully you can see that uh, the thickness of the board is inch and a half. All right, I'm gonna get busy milling up some inch and a half boards and I'll come back to you in a little while. All right, so I'm just about to the bottom of my log. I have a little bit more than an inch and a half left. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna turn off the simple set and manually drive the blade down to an inch and a half off the deck for my last board and I'm gonna probably have a little paper thin sliver left. So how we stop the simple set because I'm still at inch and, an, uh, inch and five eighths. If I hit the drop arrow or the drop lever the blade's gonna go all the way down an inch and a half past where I just was and that's too low for the deck. So to turn the simple set off I'm gonna hit the little hand it looks like a stop now we're in manual mode. So now I'm gonna drive it, the blade down manually to inch and a half. All right, so now I'm at an inch and a half. And I always like to check the, the deck before I do this cut because this is, uh, as you can see where the red is, that's a one inch. That's the smallest amount you could cut off the deck and still not hit anything. But I always like to check, make sure I have nothing sticking up on either side of the log. All right, looks good, so I'm gonna make that cut. 
And now for my public service announcement. Don't let the mill run out of gas when you're partway into a cut. So there's a pro tip from a non-pro. All right, so I finished cutting that log and my hour meter is at 136. So uh, that's exceeded the amount of time that uh, my buddy likes to put on the blades. Um, so the last blade change was at 133 hours. So let's get that blade changed. All right, so let's get the tension off the blade. All right, so I unwind it until my gauge is uh, down to zero. And then just to make it a little easier to get the blade off, uh, I just kind of push the hydraulics in a little bit more, get a couple more turns off of it, push the hydraulics in. Uh, that's going to make it a little bit easier to get the blade off. So let's move over to the other side. All right, first we're going to undo the threaded latch. We'll come up here and pull the pin. And then if all goes well, we should be able to get this panel out. one side. Let's open up the center and we'll actually wait to flop that down until we get uh, the cover off the far side. And it comes off the same way. It's got a rotating threaded latch and the pin. So I'll go and do that and I'll be right back. All right, let's see if we can walk that blade out of there. I can tell you this is much easier with two people. And uh, you're definitely gonna wanna wear gloves when you do this. And it's out.
All right, this just might end up in the blooper reel. Going back to that side. in there. Nobody sneeze. I'm going to go tighten it up just a little bit. Alright, now I'm just getting it lined up on the wheels. I'm confirming that I'm in the right slot here for this roller and the right slot on this roller and then I'm getting it lined up here. So the way I was taught was to uh, line up the back edge of the blade to the back edge of the roller and then as long as everything's in there and it's snugged up when it starts up, it'll find its center uh, if it's just slightly off. Alright, so another issue I ran into today is uh, I'm not getting any water out of this spray nozzle here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that off and see if we got something plugged up in there. Be right back. All right, it looks like we did get some fudge in there. You can probably see it sitting on the blade there. As soon as I uh, unscrewed that, the water came out with that. And I've got the nozzle now and uh, I'll blow through it to uh, make sure it's got a uh, free passage. All right, that sounds good. Let's put it back together and I'll get back to work. Okay, I'm all done for the day. Here's the scorecard. I have two 2x4 two 12s, five 2x6 12s, five 2x6 12, two ten, 12, three 2x6 two 10, three 2x8 two 10, three two by ten ten and three two by twelve tens and then of course i got some stakes and then all the slash that i'm gonna burn and that came out of four logs today so i got a little bit more done than last time well the sawdust turned out to be a great idea at first it started floating and made quicksand, but once it soaked up the water, it was much nicer to walk around out here. I hope you liked today's video and thank you for watching. It's time to go home, so let's close her up. See you on the next one.
take two. So last time I talked about the simple set. Simple scent. Let's try that again. All right, all done for the day.